five welterweight contender Bilal, remember the name Muhammad. And I pause at calling him an overachiever, but there were a lot of people who didn't necessarily think that this man was going to vault into the top five and be the factor that he has become in one of the UFC's deepest divisions. Well, when you're this committed, when you are so committed to your craft, and you have an iron will that you will be something special, you can accomplish anything. That's Bilal Muhammad. When you talk to him, you get a sense that this guy believes that he's the best in the world. He doesn't believe it. He applies the work ethic to it to make himself and give himself a chance. It has allowed for him to be exactly where he is today. And now he believes he might just be one win away from his first shot at the UFC title. We'll see how it goes for Muhammad tonight. makes the walk. You can argue that his head kick knockout of Kamal Usman at UFC 278 is the biggest singular win in UFC history. And now this man is the hunted remarkably at 170. NJA, I asked you this question. It wasn't luck because we've seen him do this before, right? We have seen him knock people out with this exact combination. This was something that he does. Leon Edwards is a master strategist. I've trained with him before. He works exceedingly hard. He does a great job of being very committed inside the gym, and he has just gotten better. It's been a long time since anyone's beaten Leon Edwards, and that's why he's the champion of the world. And to be able to win a fight like that against that type of opposition when maybe you don't have your best stuff, it's scary to think about just how good Leon Edwards can be here tonight and moving forward. this welterweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Bilal. Remember the name, Muhammad. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending U. Walter White, champion of the world, Leon Rocky Edwards. Herb Dean, our hey, referee hey. for this one. Hey. All right, so here's the oncoming welterweight contender, Bilal. Remember the name Muhammad. And when he is not hosting a podcast with my twin brother, Jason, he is disposing of UFC welterweights left and right. It has been an incredible rise to prominence for Bilal Muhammad. And most of it has been rooted in his wrestling, in his grappling, in his ability to get these fights where he wants it, ideally on the camp. Oh, nice double look, yes. Big grounded pound. Always offensive, lands a shot from the bottom. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Hammer fist here by Muhammad. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, great transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Edwards. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, there's that patented heavy leg kick. Oh, 
Oh, nice punishing kick to the body. Big double leg double change. All right, so an early takedown is true. So nice execution there and perhaps an opportunity. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Hey, All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Edwards is looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Great submission defense on this play tonight. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. My crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Big shot lands for both sides. Nice defense. He got his hands up and he blocked it. He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. Straight right, he misses. Under a minute now to go on the round. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. All right, side control now. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Muhammad's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Ten seconds to go in round one. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Round two straight ahead. That's what I'm talking about right there. You're controlling everything on the ground. You just take them down again. Position before submission. Remember that. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter. Chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. All right, here we go with the next round. We'll see if he can pick up where he left off. No reason really to change anything when he threw more often than not he was landing. He was landing over and over again, and that is just a testament of the accuracy striking acumen of this fight. Oh! Nice level change. Fighter trying to pass here. Uva gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Bilal Muhammad. Yeah. Beautiful reversal on the ground. 
Now he's going full mount. Nice positional control here. Fan! Yes, smart adjustment, yep. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Muhammad's in half court. Man has his chin been tested early. Oh, huge ground strikes. Big right hook there by the champ. Good, solid strike on the ground. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise there. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, inside kick. But he needs to check one. Oh! Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. And not that call. Take your time. He's right for the picket. <laughs> nice transition. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, he passes the half. Oh, he's attacking Joe now. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Trying to buck the hips. Looked like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. the teeth. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown here. Looks like he entered pretty well, but once again, not able to take the opposition down. Just a great idea of what was in front of him by the opponent. He knew that he would have to defend multiple takedowns to this point. He has done that, and if I'm a teacher, take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. 15 seconds remain in the round. Edwards gets back up. Muhammad's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, Two rounds God. in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready? You ready? Go. Here we go, third round of this championship. Oh! Oh, nice body shot. Oh! 
now, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Fire separate. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is... Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Darce. That Darce is tight. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. That was nasty. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Look at that. Recognize he's about to move position. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Another ground and pound strike lands. He's got to be careful here. All right, take your time. Take your time. Relax. Side control now. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Edwards' head kick looked like that one was perfect. And he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. He passed the half guard. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. No! Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, he's Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there. Great timing on that double leg. And now he's got the back. Edwards gets back up here. Just missed on the overhand left. Good head movement there. All right, so that calf is starting to brew. He didn't like that left hand. And now a head kick to boot. Oh, and he gets the takedown there. Too easy, Chip. Too easy. He has impeccable timing on these takedown attempts. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Bilal Muhammad. Oh, man. He passes the half. Edwards gets back up again. Gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Big kick land. Ten seconds now to go in the round. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, take a seat. 
All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. It's got to change something. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. on the elbow. Oh, nice takedown. Muhammad's in half court. Get the ball here. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Oh! Muhammad's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. Continuing to work out of the half guard. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over. Jonathan just picks up. Oh, he's out! Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how, how skilled both of these men are. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between them. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been fan. Combinations here. That's how you control the fight. You fight behind the jab. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. You want to stay aware and stay safe defensively. You need to work. I'll stand this up. Two minutes now to go. Mohammed's in half guard now. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. This is a terrible position. In the half guard, Edwards is back in full mount. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Close guard. Take the elbows and get to the half guard. He passes to half guard. Under a minute to go. I need you to move. Scramble. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. All 
Right side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you top. Man, has his chin been tested early. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Edwards is in half guard. Potentially five to go. Stop. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. It is the fifth and final round. Oh my goodness! Go after the cut! Get this one! Overhand lands flush. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Mm, that was nice. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. here on the Go ground. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to... Nice strike from bottom position. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter who's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. He's got to be careful here. Under three minutes now to go round five. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the, the fans came to see them knock each other out. That's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John. But ultimately, it is the strike. Very late in the fight now, DC. I know we don't have open scoring, but correct me if I'm wrong, he needs a submission or he's losing this fight. He is not a big puncher, so he needs to get this fight to the ground and chase a submission. Edwards is taking aim at that cut right now and hard to blame him, right? Might as well continue to target that area and see if you might get a referee or even a doctor to intervene here. Under oh, no! The judo toss there. Judo 101. Edwards is in half goal. Oh! Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Edwards is back to the side control now. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. 
That was a slick transition. is back in full mount. One minute to go in the fight. <laughs> Muhammad's in half guard. Great shot from the top position. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Edwards is able to transition back to side control now. No! Oh. oh, no! All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. Official ladies and decision gentlemen, now in five the buff rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 48-47, 49-46, and 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed UFC Walter White champion of the world, Leon Rocky Edwards. All right, so congratulations to Leon Rocky Edwards, your winner tonight by way of decision. Now, for you during your championship reign, I know a lot of them or knockouts and submissions, but sometimes you got to play the long game. Sometimes you play the long game, and he has shown an ability to compete and operate over the course of a long fight. He's just a really good mixed martial artist. The guy can do everything, and when you are the best in the world, you are okay with whatever the fight presents. And he took it, won the fight. Great job, Leon. And I guess if anyone has earned some time off after a fight like that, it is Leon with Rocky Edwards. We congratulate him on a big win by decision tonight. I am the truth, I am the truth.